Greetings, future mechanical engineers. We're glad to have you back on our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the critical concepts of shaft design, an indispensable aspect of mechanical engineering. A shaft is a circular, rotating machine part that transmits power from one point to another. When designing a shaft, it's important to consider the selection of material, loading conditions, and various design limitations. Shafts typically experience three types of loading, bending, torsional, and axial. Bending load tends to distort the shaft, the torsional load twists it, and axial load either pushes or pulls the shaft along its axis. Now, let's focus on some important formulas. 1. For bending stress, we use the formula, sigma equals m times y, divided by i. Here, sigma symbolizes bending stress, m stands for the bending moment, y represents the distance from the neutral axis, and i is the moment of inertia. 2. Torsional shear stress is calculated as, tau equals t times r, divided by j. In this formula, tau signifies the shear stress, t refers to the applied torque, r is the shaft's radius, and j is the polar moment of inertia. 3. Axial stress is computed by the formula, sigma equals f, divided by a. Here, sigma denotes the axial stress, f is the applied force, and a is the shaft's cross-sectional area. Now, let's discuss some components that operate in tandem with shafts, gears, keyways, and grooves. Gears resemble wheel-like parts adorned with teeth that transfer power and motion. The forces produced by the gear contribute both torsional and bending loads to the shaft. An essential formula related to gears is the gear ratio, symbolized as R, equals N1 divided by N2, where N1 and N2 signify the number of teeth in the driver and driven gears respectively. Keyways are cutout slots on the shaft that accommodate a key to prevent relative rotation between the shaft and a part. They are available in several variants, parallel, taper, and spline. To calculate the shear and compressive stresses in the key, you can employ these formulas. 1. For shear stress, tau equals T, divided by B, times H, times L. Here, tau denotes shear stress, T is the torque transmitted, B is the width of the keyway, H represents the height of the keyway, and L is the length of the keyway. 2. For compressive stress, sigma equals 2, times, T, divided by, pi, times, D, times, L. In this equation, sigma signifies compressive stress, T represents torque, D stands for the shaft diameter, and L is the keyway length. Grooves are applied to position components such as O-rings, oil seals, or snap rings on the shaft. Their size should be determined meticulously based on the component they are meant to support. Do remember that every element added to the shaft, like gears, keyways, or grooves, modifies the loading and stress conditions. Ensure that these alterations are factored into your design to uphold the integrity and durability of the system. That concludes our basic introduction to shaft design today. There's a wealth of other topics in this expansive field that we'll explore, like deflection, critical speed, power transmission, selection of bearings, and fatigue. So, stay tuned for more comprehensive discussions in our forthcoming videos. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to click that subscribe button for more intriguing insights into mechanical engineering. Until our next video, continue learning and innovating. See you soon!